What's up, everybody? Last days of freedom, Jeremiah. See this guy right here? This thug with a badge? His name is Officer Ryan Brown. And this was one year ago in December of 2019. Remember the uh, live stream the other day that I did where they were harassing my wife? saying some bootlicker said that they saw us hit our kid, which is total bullshit. We would never, ever hit our kid. Well, look at this. Not even a year ago, they did the exact same thing to me. And this is the live stream that I did. So... Enjoy the harassment that I've been getting since I've been here. Watch. This proves it. So do I get to know who called? Uh, we don't even know who called. They didn't tell me. So you can just call the police and say somebody did something and don't have to give your name or nothing, but I have to give my name for your investigation. I mean, you should be investigating the person who called y'all because they're And the woman standing right there in the mirror, that's Officer Brittany Elizabeth Lyons. Hmm. Will we investigate that after we investigate the initial complaint? How are you going to do that if you didn't get their name? Dispatch may have it. They just didn't tell us who, who called. They didn't tell, they don't tell I'll us. I'll do open records on it. Yeah, they, they don't tell us that information unless we request it, so... I mean, like I said, I don't understand how my name is going to determine whether anything that person said is true or not. I mean, my daughter's sitting right there. You can tell. We just got back from the doctor with her, and she's in there now getting her medicine. Getting her medicine? Yeah. Okay. The baby's a medicine. Everything okay with her? Yeah, just sinuses and oh. common code. Yeah. Bad time of year for that stuff, ain't it? Yep. I'm just, I'm just checking, make sure she's good. Hi. Yeah, she's back here. Hi. You can, here, you can open that back door and look at her if you Hi. need to. Thank you. Hi. She's been eating our cookies, so. Hi. Hi. Again, I'm being harassed, Samantha. Thank you. They're live on the internet. Please don't, please don't yell. Like that. Like, I'm, not, I'm not harassing you. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just telling you the complaint that we got. And that's what I'm saying we're here. We're going to investigate, okay? I'm not accusing you of anything or anything like that. I'm going to talk to her. So what happened? I was inside getting prescriptions, so I don't know. Right. Basically, I mean, basically like the, the call was that we got that uh, someone said that uh, okay. they seen a, a male inside the car uh, strike a child and pick it up and shake it. That's, that's the complaint that we got. I was telling him I'm not accusing him of anything. That is the same thing, y'all, that this video that they said the other day in the live stream. The same exact fucking bullshit. And by the way, when I did a open records for the caller, it didn't exist. I mean, he's a stay-at-home dad. He has a 24-7. I would not leave her at home. My daughter, my only kid, at home with him. If I ever thought in a million years that he would yell at her, strike at her, shake her, any of the above. Has she even been out of the car seat? Yeah. I didn't think. I mean, she's about to watch the sponge ball. I'm supposed to come up in there. I assume that. Like I said, I'm not using anybody. Right. So if we get that call, we got to make contact. Is there a camera, like, wouldn't one of those cameras be aimed out here to where you can see it? I actually do not know. I mean, I don't know. I could just see them. I'm just saying. That's something we'll follow up with. Okay. And this is just kind of an right. initial investigation just to see what's going on. Yeah, right. Like I said, we're not here to accuse anybody of anything. We're just trying to get, right. get basically get it done. We've got to say that everything's good and all that. Right. Like I said, I mean, I would never, I mean, I wouldn't leave my husband just like you. I mean, if I ever thought she was going to do something, I would just 
sure Sky was in danger, I would leave. I leave her every single day, seven days a week. He stays at home while I go to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, by any means. But, uh, you know, like, that just pisses me off. So. Well, I mean, I'm we assuming got, we got you can fucking, like, like keep her out, like, you know, you know, you know, you know. Sorry, but it just makes him mad, like, you know. And it's not nothing to get y'all off. It fails. Nothing against us, really. You freaking liar. Did you hear what she said? I swear, once your husband audits the police, it never ends. And this won't be the first, and it won't be the last. And Damn it, she was right. Um, yes, I'm, I'm not saying the police are wrong. I'm, 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 it all boils down to what I do is why. See, well. I mean, you know, how many times have we met y'all? Now, last time I met y'all is because I hit a rear end of the lady. Yeah, that's that, that, that was my fault. That was my fault. But I'm just saying, this is like the fourth, like, I mean, we got pulled over one day because um, a cop said that me and him, they heard us arguing as we were driving down the road and we weren't even arguing. Like, I mean, like, it just never. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. Okay, y'all, hold on. I'm gonna get it to the end part. I'll leave links in the description to all this so y'all can go watch them yourself. They say that, you know, me and that me and the baby were sleeping out in our car at my job. At my job. Now, watch, y'all. Hold on. You have a place to live. You know, I mean, you know, it just, I know y'all don't ever know. I respect my Fourth Amendment don't mean I'm a sovereign citizen. I heard what you called me. I really don't appreciate it either. You want to be judgmental to people? Yeah, everybody. That's the one that called me a sovereign citizen because I wouldn't identify. When the fact is, they're the sovereign citizens. And here is another one where me and my wife was walking Skylar down the road a few weeks into the pandemic. Listen what he says. Somebody called and said we were arguing. Good, I guess. Exercise because we're going crazy in our house. Hi. Hi. We all got cabin fever because I can't work, but no. Hi, good girl. But no. Hey, you would know if we were arguing because we would still be arguing. We'd still be arguing. We're not quick arguers. After nine years, you know, it lasts forever. One argument, yeah. You know how that is. It goes from mayonnaise to vinegar to ketchup, all in one argument. No. No, we're not going. Don't check on everybody. Make sure everything is okay. I don't no, give people, good. man. You know. Yeah. And how would you know? If I guess arguing? walking down the road, going like this, you know, talking back to a yeah. kid, waving your arms. How you doing? How would you know people were arguing anyway? Because you were driving. I mean, like, unless you were going like this slow. Now, everybody, keep in mind, this guy right here is Officer C. McCoy. He was just in the video that I showed y'all. Down, you know, down, yeah. down the road just to listen to what we're saying, but no. Yeah. No, I said Playing with her? Your arms waving something. Kind of like that was probably what it was. Yeah. yeah. Probably heard me yelling at her to stop. Well, her arms waving, yelling at her. I, I talk with my hands. I can't help it. Yeah. So it might look like I'm yelling and I'm really not, but I'm a hand talker. Yeah, I understand. But no, we're good. She him keep that radio, y'all. No, 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 no. Giving a code to the other cop. You can't walk out of your yard. So I thought, oh my God, don't tell me we're going to get arrested for walking around because we're just bored. No, no, no. Just like I said, I just want to come here and make sure everything is okay. We're good. Yeah, y'all are good. Yeah, okay, we're good, man. All right, good. Sorry about it, y'all. No, okay. sorry, Bush. Y'all have a good rest of your day. You too, man. Thank you. Sorry, say bye-bye. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, thank you for harassing no. us. Go around the car. This yeah. way. Go on this side of the car. Yeah. Officer C. McCoy, he was one of the ones that was there at the Walgreens incident. And everyone, 
just so you know, I want to show you. I was armed that whole time, and he said, no, I won't worry. And then, yesterday. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, so what was somebody over at Dollar Store? Uh -huh. I guess maybe seeing Samantha kind of arguing with your daughter a little bit. Oh, no. The scaler ran off from her because uh, Sam called me and said, did she come out the door because Scaler took off running from her and she freaked uh, out and panicked because Scaler took off. God, okay. It wasn't, no, it wasn't. And, and somebody, I guess somebody just didn't see the whole scenario. So they just worried once check. I guess they saw once they, she got Scaler and she disciplined her, you know. Yeah. She didn't whip her or do nothing, you I, know. So. They did, like I said, they just said they seen the kid running around and yeah. So they just, they just want to check out, make sure Skyler's good. So. Oh, yeah, you See, y'all, if you tell me this is not harassment and nothing but lies, it's this police department trying to get me because of what I do. They are thinking taking away my daughter is going to stop me. But they're not going to take away my daughter. Because I have all the videos, all the evidence that I will more than gladly show DCS. And the FBI has already been made aware of this harassment that I'm receiving, not just from the law enforcement, but from their buddies in this town. Like Joseph, the one who assaulted me simply because I was walking down the road recording and he's the tow truck driver when they arrest somebody. Think about it, y'all. The shit's got to stop. I want everyone, everyone, to make it known of this harassment. I want every channel out there to mirror this video. Please.